Hi guys, uh, we're back with another tutorial and today what we're gonna be doing is trying to get the AI tank, this AI tank, to shoot at us, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna first detect when the, the tank is close enough to aim at us and then when that's the case we're gonna slow down the tank to a halt we gonna and then we're gonna shoot when we are um, when we are aiming loosely at the tank okay so within a certain angle error and then we're gonna set the timer so that we don't shoot back again in x seconds and we move during that time so for instance five seconds so then we've moved five seconds and if we are still within range we do the same process if we are not then we go on until we are in range That means basically that we're gonna have a, um, a state machine. We're gonna be in either three states, uh, either patrolling, preparing to shoot, or actually shooting, which is, um, well, it's gonna be just one tick. But anyway, uh, we, it could actually, uh, no, sorry, and post shoot. So waiting to shoot again. Um, you could say that we're gonna be patrolling in the f so if we st if we start patrolling we then get out of the patrolling state at least for five seconds or whatever which is another way of seeing it you just have two states patrolling and shoot and preparing to shoot or shooting and when you enter the patrolling state you at least gonna be there for five seconds there's no you're not getting out of there in, in early unless it's um no, you don't get there early. You just get there in five seconds, and if it's been five seconds or more, and you're close enough to the um, player tank. Um, and then when you're preparing to shoot, when you leave the sh preparing to shoot the state, is when you do the shooting, which is which makes sense. So let's do that. Let's first implement a very simple state machine. Um, for our AI, yeah, maybe later we will develop this further, but for the time being, let's go one step at a time. Whoops. So, let's say we have, um, We can already find an enum, which is the shooting state, and we're going to be either patrolling or preparing to shoot. I like to have a um, final, when, when I do an enum, um, enums start with zero, and there is zero, one, and if I add I, another element, which is count, in count, uh, if I convert this count to an integral, I'll, I'll have the number of states that there are, which is pretty useful at times. So we're gonna have a shooting timer, which is the one we're gonna be um, using to to decide when it's when the five seconds or whatever the time after starting patrolling has passed, so we can start shooting. We're gonna find that. Time after shooting to patrol. This and yeah, mm. I think it looks like it's uh, okay. So we're 
this is actually a uh, petroleum, so we're gonna be doing um, we're gonna be doing update petroleum. We're actually uh, gonna make them. Gonna put them. So we have the update petroleum, do something, and let's add another one, which is gonna be the update preparing the suit. This one, this is what we do when we patrol. So this is gonna come in here. And we're gonna do something like float dt equals time delta time switch state. If we patrol in, patrol in case uh, state shoot. They preparing the shit. And if we had, I like to do this. So if we got an, a different value in shooting state, it's likely that's because we added a new state and we forgot to add the uh, case here. So I like to add here a, um, an error. Tell me what's the actual state that we missed. So, the first thing we're going to be doing here is also increasing. We do the normal movement, and then at the end, is we have to check if we have to change this state. Is shooting timer mean time? If the shooting timer is big enough, and the distance to the player. So the distance to the player, we need to calculate the distance to the player. And to calculate the distance to the player, we have to know where the player is. In order to do that, we are going to be needing the player. And the player is going to be a tank controller. We should probably change it for player tank controller. Anyway, the tank controller, this should be only one. We're going to be initializing it here. So we're using a find object of type, okay? In general, using a find is a bad idea because find take a long, takes a long time to execute. It has to go over every object, checking if it's of the right type or if it has the right name, etc. Every object in the scene. If you've got a smaller scene, that's not a big deal, like, like we have in ours. But if you've got a big scene, this like with thousands of objects, that, that could be very taxing. But that's a bad idea in general when you put it in the update. But if you do it only once in the start, and that's gonna happen, and that start happens at the beginning of the level, that's basically right after loading the level, then it's not a big deal because it's part of the loading process. So, if it's part of the loading process, you're not gonna I mean, spending like a millisecond more on the loading process. It's not gonna be a big deal. But if you spend one millisecond more. In the update then yeah it's gonna be a big deal so that's why we use find object of type only in start or awake functions so 
with that we can calculate the distance squared transform position minus transform position sql magnitude so if this two player square is below the uh, distance This, this distance is square, then change the state. Shooting state is going to be preparing to shoot. The timer is going to be reset, and that's it. Well, one more thing. Right now, okay, yes, let's ignore this state. So we just can we, we, we just we have just included the patrol in the state, and it's actually doing nothing. It's gonna, it should be behaving just the way it was behaving, yes. Should take like one tick off when it's close enough, which um, I don't know what it is, but yeah. the thing is, right now it looks like it's aiming at the player, but it's not. I think it's aiming at the zero zero zero. Yeah, correct. You see, it's aiming at the zero zero zero. So one of the things that we could add to the uh, patrolling state is that it should be looking forward. That should um, the target would be something like um, Transform position plus transform forward times let's say ten and yeah we don't have the suit controller right well we're not gonna be able to um, do anything to shoot the tank if we don't have the shooting controller. shooting controller for the tank and we can uh, target point is target boss so if this is correct looking forward yeah. cool mm -hmm. it seems to be working yeah um Good. So we've got this working. At least it's working just as it was working before. And it's the uh the, 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 the turret is always aiming forward, which is good. Now let's make it shoot. Um We're gonna set the max angle offset to shoot and we're gonna put it in degrees for instance two degrees it's probably too big by the way probably 10 or 15 even should be okay okay so when we're doing this what we can do is like um we 
one to stop the tank. So the move controller, the inputs, should be um, zero, zero. And we want to aim at the player, which means that um, the target position should be the tank's position. Yeah. Shoot, this is going to be force here, always. And then the final um, thing we have to do is calculate the angle distance between the current direction and the direction, and the ideal direction. So we could do it here. Or we could add a method to the shooting controller that tells us that angle, which is kind of useful. And to be honest, I mean, we could do it here, and, but it's kind of kind of weird to do that because we have to recalculate the direction and everything else. While instead, we are going to be um, keeping track of the. Ideal target. So opposite angle to ideal target, which is going to be zero, zero by default. This is a property that we're going to be updating every tick. to it but only uh, read access so only get damn it damn it sorry I made a mistake this should be part of the shoot controller better and then we have to play this every time we aim the turret so Although really makes no sense. So, but, but anyway, it's good to have like a value of the four by when things are kind of like when they don't make sense. Still having the full value that we know what it is 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 a good idea. So, um, yeah. This offset is going to be actually the um, the 
we're gonna be clamping. Current angle minus angle to target. No, actually angle to target minus current angle, which is what we had four times. Uh, we're not clamping, sorry. Normalize angle dex, and we have to multiply it right to deck. So this is in radians. This is in radians. This is in radians. We did the difference. Multiply times right dex, and then we normalize it, and we have to do the opposite. And that's it. So with these, what we have is we have the young, the offset angle in this. Okay. So there is only one issue here. So we're gonna be doing like. Check if it's time to shoot. If shoot controller offset angle is lower than max angle offset to shoot, then fire. Shoot controller shoot equals to true and change the state. Actually, it's uh, I like it better like this. So we don't shoot in this case, but if we're close enough, we should. The problem here is that it's going to be shooting the first stick. Let's see if I'm right with that. And if that's the case, which I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be, then we're going to fix it later. Yeah, it's shooting the first stick, it's, it's gone. Yeah, you see, as soon as it, I mean, we could draw, so... sphere around the player to mark the uh, area where should. So I think that damn it that we just so we, we have a um, um, the distance to shoot the player I think is gonna is now at fifty so basically it's shooting all the it's it's telling it can shoot all the time yeah you see it's this big this area. This whole area is valid, which is too big. So instead of setting it to 50, let's set it to 15. You see? Now it's only going to shoot when it gets in here. See, it's shot there. And it's going to shoot again when it's there. That's all right. So it's shooting the first stick. So why is that happening? So the shooting angle is um, is set 
when uh, is, is set every tick in the update of the shooting controller. So when you go back again in the AI tank, it's got the shooting angle from last tick. That's something that we definitely well, we have a problem with because the first tick that we get in the prepare to shoot, we still have the shooting angle from the last tick in the patrolling state. And last tick in the patrolling state, we told it to look forward, and it's, it most likely is looking forward, so this, the angle will be near zero or zero. So what does that mean? That means that we um, are going to be shooting them. If instead we waited a little bit, say when we enter the shooting state, we wait a little bit, like 0.1 or even one tick, but I'd rather wait like a small timer. It's gonna give it a, it's gonna give it this time to to prepare the shooting properly to have the the aiming look at the right position and stop a little bit, which is something that this probably look nice. And it's gonna solve our problem. We could, of course, uh, solve it in different ways, uh, like waiting more than one, at least one tick to check these, or doing, uh, or making sure that when that we force this calc when when we set the uh, when we change the the state. There, there are different ways of forcing the, of, of solving this problem, but I think that one is gonna be it's gonna look nicer. And in general, uh, when you're working on AI. Having things that don't work immediately, that don't happen immediately, is gonna look nice and it's gonna feel good. So, one for instance. So that means that we want to update the timer, the timer here. And we want to add this. If this is lower than the minimum time repairing the shot. Or we are not in the right angle, we don't shoot. Otherwise, we should. Well, let's see. Seems to be working, so if we um, looks like five seconds is a little bit too much. Let's change it to two seconds. I believe there is a problem here. So there must be an issue, and I believe I know what this is. So this offset is a signed value. So this angle may be positive or negative. And if it's negative, it's always, sorry, um, yeah, if it's negative, it's always gonna be lower than this. But if we get the absolute value, 
we are gonna be um should be okay. Looks like it's working. We could even force the stop to be one second at least. Or I don't know. We could even force it to be stopped or the velocity to be almost zero when we, when we should. But I'm gonna leave that as an exercise for you guys. I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference, but I think it's just, it, it would make it look nicer. Still, uh, so we have done what we were aiming to, right? Um, so we have an AI tank that is moving around and is uh, shooting at us, but in certain under certain circumstances, and it's doing it nicely. So you know, but the problem now, right now, is that um, the the camera is not following the tank properly. So yeah, that's our, that's gonna be our next step. Anyway, for you guys, I leave it as an exercise to. Um, make the, um, the shooting happen only when the tank is going slow enough <clears throat> i'm also i also may do another video before that where we add some collisions to the tank and add some health or stuff like that i don't know maybe maybe we'll do it before or after the um, camera because i think that's gonna look nice and it's gonna um, make it look and feel more like a game and if, if you got health and you got like a your condition to finish the um, the the game whether you've beaten the other tank or all the other tanks uh, or you just um, been uh, destroyed yourself I think it's gonna look nice and it's gonna feel a little bit like a like a game it's something that you you know you can play anyway I hope to see you guys in the next video, um, which should be soon. Bye.